Three teenagers are locked up after police say they robbed a woman in East Price Hill at gunpoint. Local 12 News reporter Brad Underwood joins us live outside the Hamilton County Juvenile Detention Center where the three are being held. And Brad, the woman's story here is really chilling. It is. Uh, it could happen to anyone you think uh, when you hear about this. Uh, two 13-year-olds and a 14-year-old have been here at the youth center since they were arrested on Monday. And one of the victims in this uh, attempted robbery here says despite having a gun pointed at her, her only concern was keeping her son protected. Waiting for two of her children to get out of school, Ginger Bowler sat in her car at the intersection of Price and Hawthorne Avenues. After finishing a text message, Bowler says she put her phone down and then noticed three people walking towards her car. I looked to see where these guys went and I didn't see them. And I look over my shoulder and they were doing some things that just made things trigger like something's not right. Then Bowler says she heard a knock on the window. When I turned and noticed a weapon <laughs> and um, you know, I just threw my arms up and said, really, in front of my kid? And he said, yeah. In the back seat, her eight-year-old son was playing with his iPod. Bowler says that's when the car door opened. I couldn't drive off because my son was being pulled out of the car. At that point, Bowler says she laid on the horn, and the three boys ran off with their son's iPod. Actually, one went up this way, one went between those buildings, one went all the way down to the end. Eventually, Bowler says they all went into this building on Hawthorne, literally right behind the District 3 police station. Next thing you know, they were bringing them up along with the weapon and his iPod and to identify everything, and they did a very good job. And uh, i just very upset that it, my child had to experience this. Bowler's husband, Dan, says he can't thank CPD enough for catching the three teens. I personally think that uh, Cincinnati Police Department did a heck of a job. Um, I want to thank them. I thought they did a tremendous job. After speaking with police, Bowler tells me that detectives told her the teen's intention was to actually steal her car. Now, those three teenagers will be here at the youth center until their next court appearance. Reporting live in Mount Auburn, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Paula? Oh, Brad, did she say how her son is doing that? It had to be so frightening for him. It was, and she, uh, her husband told me that they actually went to see a counselor, um, Ginger and her son, that, that talking with somebody about it seemed to help him, and he's, and he's doing much better uh, with seeing that situation. So sad. All right, thank you, Brad. And the three suspects are doing court on Friday.